This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. So we're in John chapter 19, and uh, the six trials are now over, and Pilate has turned Jesus over to the Sanhedrin and said, look, you want, him? You want to crucify him? Go ahead. I don't want anything to do with it. He's basically washed his hands of the, of the matter, and he's, he said, you, you're on your own. And he gives them the, uh, the authority that they need, and he gives them the, the, the military uh, support to go out and do that. But uh, it's, it's, against his, it's against his wishes. And so verse 16 of chapter 19 says, that, So they took Jesus, and he went out bearing his own cross to a place called the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. And there they crucified him, and with, uh, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross, and it read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And many of the Jews read this inscription, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Aramaic, in Latin, and in Greek. So the chief priests of the uh, Jews uh, said to Pilate, Do not write the King of the Jews, but rather this man said, I am King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was seamless, woven into one piece from top to bottom. So they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture which says, They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. 